Yo, what's going on guys? It's Eclipse here and today we are going to be taking a look at some of the worst Titan League attackers I have ever seen. Now, if you guys didn't watch my previous video about trophy pushing, I basically said that my highest trophy record right now is 3,848 and if we look at my current trophies, that is my trophy record. So I've never really done a trophy push before and right now I'm pretty much just farming. I haven't really been playing Clash a lot lately. If you view my attack log, I did a few attacks one day, but from there on out, 5 days, 7 days, 8 days, 8 days, 9 days, I've been making YouTube videos, doing homework, doing war raids, so I haven't had too much time myself to actually commit to farming and trying to get loot. If we view my defense log though, I've just been winning so many defenses lately, but if we do scroll down a bit, I do have a few defense losses in a row, and that's because I'm a dumbass. You see, I didn't want to log on, make sure my heroes were awake, and I didn't even have clan castle troops or traps for some of these so it's pretty much just because I was inactive but when everything's all set as you can see my base just defends like a charm so far in the season I have 14 defense wins and to get to Titans League I believe you need 4100 trophies so with the rate we're going at right now we should be hitting Titans League from defending only and that's pretty crazy to think about like Titans League is pretty high up there I'd like to think and it's funny because we aren't even attacking and we're really not even trying to raise trophies that much but it seems like we're gonna hit it from defense without any more useless talking or just talking about shit Which you guys really don't care about we can finally get into this first defense So as you can see right here I'm only in champs 2 and this guy is in Titan 3 or maybe it's a girl I don't know is Nima a guy or a girl's name Let me know down in the comments below But basically this guy just starts off by trying to come in straight from the bottom He has some wall breakers down breaks in the compartment and it's just kind of starting off slow So we're just gonna fast forward this till the series action comes Comes. So finally, he has all of his troops just coming in the base. He has wizards and everything. Now, right next to this builder's hut right here, I actually have a giant bomb. So if his troops do funnel in, we should be able to get a good chunk of wizards. I'm just kind of waiting for them to funnel in. And as you can see right here, all of those wizards are just going to get destroyed. So basically, all of his wizards die. His golems really didn't go anywhere. His giants aren't going to the center. And at this point, he's kind of fucked up. He has a 27%. And there's no way he will be able to get this 50% or destroy the town hall. I have all of these balloons coming over here and this guy is just screwed at this point. We're just going to times it by four and you guys can just see he absolutely got destroyed. He got a whopping 36%. Wow. He got a bit of my elixir but nothing too much. So for the most part that raid was just absolutely horrendous. Now I've got to mention this, if you guys want to take a screenshot of my base and use it for war or trophy pushing or whatever, here it is. I didn't make the base myself, I think I stole it from someone, but besides the point, let's get right on to the next replay. Here we have an attack from Tommy or Tommy, and again, this guy's in Titan 3. So let's see if this guy can do any better than the previous attacker. I didn't even look at the percentage on this raid, so I don't know if this is going to be a good raid or a bad raid. Let's just hope he's a better attacker than the other guy, so he's just starting off by trying to break open some compartments and I kind of just want to fast forward the openers of these raids because they start off relatively slow at this point he just has his main troops down his golem didn't even go into the top compartment like he planned and now he's actually beginning his raid so it looks like he doesn't even have enough wizards in this bottom compartment right here all of his wizards are on the left and there's golems tanking for those on the right half it doesn't really look like he has too many troops and honestly all of his wizards are kind of going down and he's still spamming wizards so this guy is pretty much like an idiot I want to say don't me you know yell at me for calling him names but you got to be honest look at this guy he's sending minions in now this guy just deploys a bit of troops waits deploys more troops waits deploys more troops waits I don't know why he just didn't deploy everything in the beginning and that's why I kind of feel like this guy screwed up as you can see he broke the wall open to my core but he really didn't go anywhere so this guy's at a 39% he's doing a bit better than the previous guy but still, this attack was pretty horrendous, I'm not going to lie. He really didn't do too much work. He gets a whopping 40% four more percent than the previous guy and still this attack was just absolutely horrendous again moving on to the third defense this guy's actually in titan 3 and he's going to be trying a queen walk so we have a better strategy attacking me now and whenever i say an attack's bad in a video i always get so many comments like oh my god eclipse you don't even know sometimes people just have bad raids and i know i i, I mean i know people have bad raids but 
you gotta be honest, some raids are just so awful that you have to wonder what goes through some people's minds. So this guy, he has a good attack so far. I'm just gonna times it by four because it's a queen walk, and now he's actually beginning his raid, so this should be interesting. He has a queen taking out this left compartment, and hopefully my archer queen, and then on the right, he just has, oh my god, he has a shitload of witches, as you can see right there. He is just witches flooding this base, and I think this guy was trying to three-star me, I mean, or maybe just a two-star, I don't really know. But again, that giant bomb right there takes out some wizards and a few witches, I think. And at this point, he's kind of screwed. As you can see, there's 30 seconds left, so it doesn't take a genius to know that this raid's about to go down pretty soon. So he has a jump spell down, but none of his troops really went for the jump spell. And he already used his warden ability and a freeze spell. And at this point, he really has no other spells. So both of my inferno towers are just going to shred. And his queen still has full health, so I guess that's a good sign. But compared to the rest of his army, all of his troops are just kind of going down at this point it looks like this guy did a bit better he got a 43 percent so it looks like people are getting better and better at attacking me but with that being said let's move on to the next defense here we have esteban mong hispania so let's hope the so let's hope this guy has a better strategy. So this guy places an earthquake spell down at the bottom. And I see a lot of people do that. And I've never seen anyone actually get my town hall from the bottom. And to be honest, I don't think many people have got my town hall when I had clan castles, troops, or traps, or anything like that. So right off the bat, this guy is kind of failing. He couldn't even get his compartments open. And now he has three golems going to one compartment. So I really don't think it takes a genius to know that this raid's kind of going to go bad or go poorly. And he has P.E.K.K.A.s. He sounds like four pekkas in there and I don't normally see people use go wipe with that many pekkas so I think that's a bit odd but he has all of his troops just going up through the base at this point nothing too special and to be honest this attack looks like it can be going pretty well I feel like this guy could have easily two starred me but obviously we all know he didn't because this video is all fails but let's just continue on moving so I have a lava hound in the clan castle and all of his troops are kind of on the left half of the base so if that lava hound does pop there's gonna be no chance for this guy to destroy the pups and all of his troops are just merry-go-rounding and that's what I really like about this base even if people break a clear path to the core as you can see his king is all the way over here so no matter where people start their attacks from it just seems like no one actually goes to the core also if you do notice my town hall isn't even fully centered like it's off centered and no one attacks me from the top and I feel like that would be the best bet to actually get a two star but no one does that so at this point he's at a 43% and it looks like he's probably gonna fail so I'll just times this raid by four and we will see what happens so it looks like he isn't even ending the battle. He's just saving his Earthquake spell, Clan Castle, and Poison spell. And here we go. Esteban gets a solid 44%. So it seems like every attack I showed, someone did better. But for the most part, no one is beating this base when it's at its full potential. Those are all of the replays I do have for this video. My goal is to reach Titans League without really attacking much. Of course, like right now, my army's done. So I'll probably attack since this video is over. But for the most part, if I'm doing homework or other shenanigans, or whatever I'm probably just gonna stick to defense and see how far I can actually go from only defending um so if you guys are interested in a video when I reach Titans League or if I ever do reach Titans League please let me know because at the moment all of these attacks are just kind of jokes um no one really actually beats me as I was saying if this does keep up though I think we should be reaching Titans League in a few days hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like below it looks something like this just click that and it will change blue or some other color and then once you have that you can feel free to comment or insult me or do whatever i don't really care just you know give the video support so again guys this has been eclipse hopefully you all enjoyed this video if you guys want more pushing type videos or videos of me raising trophies feel free to tweet me or just tell me or whatever so without any more rambling or complaining or talking about stuff which you guys don't care about i'm gonna have to go so peace out